seen so in this series <laughs> this is our first episode of old Hi, welcome back to our channel. This is our first episode of Utang 101. <laughs> so I created a series for you guys. I'm so excited for 2022. As I promised, 2022 will be an exciting year for all of us. Our goal in this channel is to guide you to financial freedom. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about debts. Oh, utang. Utang nga, o, o, in this video, we're going to talk about managing your utang. <laughs> so I'm gonna share you guys how I manage my debts. So as you all know, I have existing loans from banks, financial institutions, lending companies. Papa online lending platform pamanyan or banko or lending companies. So lahat naman tayo nakakautang, di ba? Ang Pilipinas nga, ang bansa natin may utang, di ba? So as of like September 2021, parang trillion na yata yung utang ng Pilipinas. So lahat naman tayo may utang. According to the study guys, sabi nila, 70% of Filipinos are stressed. So talagang ano daw, stress na stress sila sa mga utang. Simula nung nag-start yung pandemic, so ang daming nawala ng trabaho and everything. So may mga instances talaga na wala na tayong choice kundi mangutang. Okay, mangutang either sa banko, sa mga lending company, sa mga online lending applications, or sa mga relatives and friends natin. But lately, and that's okay. So lahat naman tayo nakakautang. Hindi ibig sabihin masama kang tao. Charo! <laughs> Masamang tao agad, criminal. <laughs> Tsaka pala naman nakukulong sa utang, guys. Huwag lang tayong gumawa ng masama. Yun ang hindi maganda, di ba? So, kailangan talaga maging responsible borrowers tayo. Kailangan talaga natin magbayad ng utang. Utang dapat bayaran! Utang dapat bayaran! Char <laughs> so, as you all know, guys, nung nag-start yung pandemic, I started vlogging about my experience against online lending harassment. Sa dami-dami nag-comments and, and nag-share ng kanilang experience. So, might as well create something that will benefit all of you guys. Matagal-tagal ko nang inisip to na magkaroon tayo ng ganitong klaseng series. Pero, hindi lang talaga ako nagkaroon ng time or opportunity to plan and research about this series. So, I have created three series. One for Utang 101. We will also have Save More, Earn More. And then, the third one is all about life. So, for us to be able to reach that financial freedom, unang-una, kailangan natin isettle yung mga kautangan natin, hindi ba? So, kailangan isettle muna natin, isa-isa. Step by step. That's why I created first Utang 101 for us to be able to discuss what to do, how to manage our finances, our debts, and save more, earn more will come. And then we're going to talk about our lives after those struggles, diba? So it's all about you guys in this channel. And I'm very thankful and grateful that you guys appreciated all my videos. So here I am, I'm giving back to you guys. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video to your Facebook account, to your friends, family, and Joas. Joas, and daming Joas. And don't forget to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, our Facebook page. So without further ado, let's start! Alam niyo sa totoo lang, in this time of crisis, nap napaka-imposible maging debt-free, di ba? Kaya naiintindihan natin ang isa't isa kung nakakahiram tayo, nakakautang tayo sa financial or lending companies, sa family or relatives natin, di ba? Pero kailangan talaga natin siyang i-manage ng mabuti para hindi tayo malubog sa utang. So yun ang pag-uusapan natin today, how to manage your debts. So like I mentioned earlier, wala naman taong walang utang, di ba? So ano nga ba ang debts or utang sa Tagalog? Debts are a fact of life. Oh, fact. Oh, bastos naman dyan. In the fact, <laughs> katotohanan, di ba? Ito yung katotohanan sa utang, di ba? Many people from multi-millionaires to corporate employees have it. So, lahat tayo nakaka-utang. Mahirap ka man, mayaman ka man, may utang ka. Lahat tayo may utang dito, te. Yung mga taong mayayaman nga, yung mga healthy people nga, nakaka-utang, kayo pa kaya? Kaya wag kang magdamot, magpa-utang ka din. <laughs> Gayun pa man, meron tayong mga solusyon kung paano natin masisettle yung mga utang natin. So, first, let's discuss about 
the difference between good debt and bad debt. So, oo, meron tayong mabuting utang daw. <laughs> mabuting utang, mabuting utang talaga. Hindi talaga talaga literally. <laughs> So, mabuting utang at saka masamang utang. O, di ba? Tama ako. Masamang utang yung bad debt. So, debt means you borrowed money which should be returned to the lender accordingly. Yun ang napakasimple yung definition ng utang. So, mangungutang ka sa kapitbahay mo, sa friends mo, tapos ibabalik mo din. However, there's a huge difference between good debt and bad debt. So, good debt refers to borrowed money to fund investment. Or something that, or something that could benefit you in return, and has the potential to increase your net worth or enhance your life in an important way. O di ba? So nakakatulong ang mabuting utang. Kaya nga mabuti di ba? Kasi nakakatulong sa buhay natin. <laughs> so ano mga klase ng utang ito yung tinutukoy niya? So meron tayong student loan mortgage, business loan, personal loan with good terms. Kaya na sinabi ko sa inyo, mer meron akong ut mga utang, di ba? So, uh, kagaya nitong mortgage, meron akong housing loan from pag-ibig. So, that's one example of good utang. Why? Because tumataas yung value ng property. So, good utang yon. It is an investment for me, something that could benefit me in the long run because hindi bumababa yung value. Instead, tumataas siya over time. And also, pag may mga junakis na kayo, may mga pinapaaral kayo, tapos mag mangungutang kayo for your child's education, that is good utang. Kasi, you are investing in your child's education and future, which could benefit them for you in the long run. Business loans, kung nakautang ka ng malaking pera or let's say for example, milyon, nagpatayo ka ng negosyo like water station, that's good utang. Kasi, merong value, merong balik sa'yo yung, yung utang mo. And then, we have personal loans with good terms. So, sometimes may mga tao na gustong mag-loan. Gusto lang nilang mag-loan. Kagaya sa, let's say for example, sa multi-purpose pag-ibig, di ba? Sa SSS, mag-loan ka. And then, yung proceeds na yon isi-save mo. Ibabangko mo sa savings account mo. That's a good utang. Kasi, aside from isi-save mo siya sa banko mo, or i-invest mo sa stocks, yung terms niya, when it comes to interest and charges, yung terms niya is mababa lang kasi nga sa government mo siya inutang. Alam naman natin na di ba na mababa lang ang interest ng SSS or pag-ibig. Most people, most Filipinos, especially employed Filipinos, take the advantage to loan sa SSS or pag-ibig. And then we have bad debt. On the other hand, is money borrowed to pay for purchases that depreciate. Oh, depreciate ha? Depreciate. So, nawawalan siya ng value. Bumababa yung value niya. So, it involves borrowing money to purchase rapidly depreciating assets or only for the purpose of consumption. So, ano tong mga masamang utang na to? <laughs> We have auto loan or car loan kasi bumababa ang value ng car, di ba? Yung sasakyan. Let's say, for example, bumili ka ng Ford or mabahaling 4x4 Jeep na sasakyan. E magkano yun? Ma million yata yun? 2 million? Tapos, ibibenta mo siya after, like, say, for example, 10 years, 5 years, mababa na lang yung presyo niya. Bad utang yun. Kasi, aside from bumababa yung presyo niya, ang haba pa ng years na babayaran mo yun. Kaya instead of you saving money for 10 years, eh, andyan ka pa rin. Binabayaran mo pa rin yung car loan mo, di ba? And secondly, clothes and consumables. Oh, so yung mga mahilig mag-shopping dyan, every week, di ba, using their credit card, swipe lang ng swipe dyan, sige lang. So, that's a bad debt kasi nag-accumulate yun ng interest every time you use your card to shop or purchase something, di ba? And we have revolving credit card balance. So, yung may mga credit card dyan na hindi pa nababayaran in full, nagre-revolve yung balance mo dyan. Kung hindi mo siya binabayaran in full, pag ginamit mo yung card mo online or say for example, outside the country, nag-travel ka, Tapos, hindi mo siya binayarin in full, 
pumapatong at pumapatong yung interest at saka pag may late payment ka so ang daming patong di ba sino may gusto ng patong <laughs> ako chero chero <laughs> so yun siya and also high interest debt such as payday loans or online lending yung mahilig mag-install ng app ng online lending platform. So, alam naman natin na napakalaking interest magpatok ang mga yan. Aside from late fees, interest charges, meron pa silang tinatawag na maintenance fees kung anik-anik. -anik. <laughs> Down payment fee, advance payment fee, di ba? So, napakalaki. Or, any debt which you cannot afford to pay. Yung mga utang lang dyan ng utang, hindi naman alam kung ano yung inuutangan, hindi nagbabasa ng terms and conditions, di disclosure agreement. Napakalaki kalaki pala ng interest, tas hindi alam yung mga late payment fee na yan. So, may mga ga ganong tao na lulubog sa utang kasi unaware sila sa mga charges. Basta na lang makautang na hindi inaalam yung terms and conditions. So, yun yung bad utang, guys. Bad debts don't usually offer the same benefits as good debts. Sometimes, it result from impulse buying or bad spending habits. So, isa ka ba sa mga nagigilty dyan, ante? So, hinay-hinay lang tayo sa, sa pangungutang, guys, ha? You should also do the math, ha, before applying. So, hindi naman masamang mangutang, guys. Basta alam natin kung ano yung pinapasokan natin. Basahin natin ang terms and conditions before applying. So, how will you manage your debt ngayon? Alamin mo kung magkano yung utang mo. Make a list of your debts including the creditor or lending companies kung saan ka nakautang, the total amount of the debt, yung monthly payment mo, alamin mo din, interest rates ng uh, pinagkautangan mo, and most importantly, yung due date mo. Kasi dyan tayo nagkalubog-lubog ng utang dahil hindi pala alam ang due date. Mangungutang ka na nga lang, di mo pa alam ang due date, te. Eh. <laughs> so yun, ang ginagawa ko kasi, nililist ko sa notepad ko sa phone yung mga utang ko. Kung anong lending company, kung kanino ako naka... Nililista ko yan. Updated yung notepad ko sa phone. So, nakalista lahat yung ano ko dito. Kunwari yung name of the lending company, tapos yung amount, at saka kung kailan ko siya babayaran. Para at least natatrack ko, na monitor ko yung bills ko. At alam ko kung kailan ako magbabayad. At alam ko kung magkano yung babayad ko. Doon pa lang, alam ko na kung ano yung ibabadget ko. Pwede mo naman isulat sa paper kung mahilig kang mag-handwritten die. So, pwede mo naman isulat yan. Pero sa akin kasi, more of ano kasi tayo, digital. So, notepad, notepad na lang sa phone ang gamit ko. Whatever you're comfortable with, guys, you can do it. As long as you're comfortable, you're able to update and monitor your bills. Pay your bills on time each month. So, it's self explanatory guys. Magbayad daw tayo ng utang natin every month. So, wag tayo malate. Avoid natin yung malate. Kasi nga, patong-patong pagkatakot-takot na fees ang aabutin natin kung hindi tayo magbabayad on time. Huwag natin kakalimutang magbayad on time. Napakahalagang magbayad ng on time. At least yung minimum payment will do para ma-avoid yung late fee. That's okay. Kaya napakahalagang ilista natin yung mga utang natin guys. Para man-monitor and matrack natin. Create a monthly bill payment calendar. Use a bill payment calendar to help you figure out which bills to pay with which pay check. Totoo yun guys. Included pala sa listahan ng mga bills ko every month. Sinisegregate ko na siya. Merong, merong utang na babayaran for quincenas. Meron ding utang babayaran for katapusan. Mga ganun yung ginagawa ko. Sinisegregate ko na siya. So at least alam ko kung ano yung uunahin ko kung mataas man yung fee nito yun yung ipaprioritize ko so bago pa lang pumasok yung sahod ko guys sa quincenas computed na yan kung saan nakalaan yung pera ko kung ano yung mga bills na babayaran ko on that day and make at least the minimum payment oo hindi naman masama guys no na hindi natin ma fully settled yung balance natin. At least, the minimum payment will do. Yun yung kailangan nating iwasan. Yung ma-default tayo, di ba? So, nakakatakot niya. Lending companies nowadays, financial institutions, banks, are now submitting our payment history, mapanegative or positive payment history man yan sa CIC. So, dagdag ano yun sa atin. Dagdag hit sa ating credit report. Decide which debts to pay off first. So, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina. Applicable to sa ginagawa ko every month. 
pag quincenas, eto na yung nakalaan na pera para sa mga lending companies or pinagkautangan ko. Eto na naman para sa katapusan. So, nakaano na yan guys, nakalista na at saka nakaplano na yun beforehand pa. In that way, alam ko kung ano yung uunahin kong ihuhuli kong babayaran. Credit card have high interest and charges rather than other debts. So say, for example, dalawa, tatlo, lima ang credit card mo. Of all your credit cards, the one with high interest, yun yung i-priority mo. Because it's costing the most money. Para sa akin ha, yun yung mga inuuna ko, yun yung mga inaalagaan ko kasi credit card companies regularly updating our credit report or payment history guys sa CIC. Pay off collections and charge ops. Sabi dito, when you have limited funds for repaying debt, focus on keeping your other accounts in good standing. Don't sacrifice your positive accounts for those that have already affected your credit. Instead, pay those past due accounts when you can afford to do it. Lastly guys, build an emergency fund. Yes, an emergency fund guys. Having funds set aside in a savings account may help you to avoid using credit cards for unexpected expenses. So, kung meron tayong savings, emergency fund, guys, may iwasan natin galawin ang ating mga credit card or may iwasan tayong umutang sa mga lending companies. May utang ka pa nga, eh, di ba? Tapos, dadagdagan mo na naman ng another utang. So, paano ka makakaano yan? Makakaahon yan kung utang ka ng utang, di ba? So, mag-set aside tayo ng emergency fund natin. So, kahit 1,000 per month, every month, or per cut of kung kaya mo, di ba? Why not? Basta meron ka madudukot, hindi mo dudukotin yung ano ni, ano, CHARAT! <laughs> Basta mang mandukot, dukotin mo yung sarili mo. <laughs> sarili mong bangko, of course. So, yun guys, uh, napakalaga na meron tayong emergency fund. In case of emergency nga, di ba? In case of emergency. Kung kakailanganin natin ng, kung kakailanganin natin ng pera, meron tayong madudukot. Pakatatandaan guys, we should be all responsible in borrowing. So, meaning, ang utang kailangan pa rin bayaran, guys. That's one way to manage your debts, your mul multiple utangs. Para sa ganun, makaahon ka and you will reach that financial freedom na sinasabi nila. Hindi yun malayong mangyari na ma-reach mo yung financial freedom, guys. Basta discipline at saka you have to change your lifestyle. Tanggalin mo na yung mga hindi kailangan. Huwag tayong bili ng bili ng kung ano-ano na wala namang value or wala namang kakwenta-kwenta, di ba? Alright, that's all for now. I hope you guys learned something from this series. This is our episode 1. And till our next episode for Utang 101, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Share this video to your Facebook account. Do not forget to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook page. Till our next vlog, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.